everybody welcome back to the channel Catherine hasn't posted in like two weeks so this is my channel now dixie what are you doing uh nothing i gotta go bye guys what's up everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be the first to an eight part sims rainbow challenge series i've seen other people do rainbow challenges before on the sims but i kind of want to do my own version of it each episode is going to be a certain color so red orange yellow green blue but instead of indigo and violet i want to do purple and pink and i'm also going to be doing a rainbow episode so basically in each episode i'm going to make a sim give them eight outfits and i'm also building them a tiny house because I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of obsessed with watching tiny house videos on YouTube. They're like my favorite thing right now. So each sim is getting their own colored tiny house, and at the end of the series, we're gonna end up with like a really cute community of rainbow tiny houses. As you can probably tell by the color of my shirt, the title of the video, and probably the thumbnail, today we are starting with the red sim. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. So first is the everyday outfit, but before I get into that, as you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen, I went ahead and named this sim Riley because, well, the color red starts with R and so does Riley. I picked out a red sweatshirt, some ripped jeans, and some red Converse sneakers. And then for her face, I gave her some eyelashes, a red smoky eye, I changed her eyes to like a really cool deep red color. Then I gave her a highlight and picked out a lipstick. I actually had more red hairstyles than I thought I did and it was kind of tough to pick one but I ended up with a half up half down look and then because I couldn't make up my mind I ended up changing the sweatshirt to an off the shoulder shirt. Next up is formal wear and honestly I feel like most of the sims like original dresses are kind of ugly so I didn't really have that many options to work with so I just ended up picking one that I downloaded. It's not my favorite dress, but it's not terrible. It's kind of cute, it has hearts on it, and then I just gave her some red heels. Then for makeup, I gave her a red smoky eye, some eyelashes, and of course some red lipstick. Next up is sportswear, and this outfit was pretty simple. I just picked out some red Nike shorts, a cute red striped t-shirt, and some red sneakers. Because this is a sporty look, she really doesn't need makeup, so I just gave her some eyelashes, and then I also gave her a red watch. For sleepwear, I found this really cute cropped white t-shirt that has red on the sleeves and collar. Then I just gave her some red sweatpants and bunny slippers. Next is a party outfit, but I wanted her outfit to be kind of like casual party, like not super dressed up, so I found this really cute dress that had a sweater underneath it, and then I just paired it with some red high top converses. Because I'm going for a casual party look, I skipped the eyeshadow this time and just gave her lashes and a lip color. Next is swimwear, and this outfit was extremely easy to pick out because I literally only had three red options, so I ended up picking out the striped bathing suit, and I also gave her some red sandals. Because I have the Sims 4 Seasons, that means I can also give my Sim a warm and a cold outfit, so for the warm outfit, I gave her my favorite denim shorts. And then I just picked out a plain red crop tank top. Then I just gave her some red flip flops and a red choker necklace. Last is the cold weather outfit and I looked through a couple of different red options for like sweaters and stuff, but then I ended up just picking out the red snowsuit because I thought that was kind of cool looking. Then I just gave her some red boots, a red winter hat, and some red gloves.
Now it's time to work on the tiny house. I decided that every tiny house on this lot would have a foundation that was 16 by 12, and then this red house in particular ended up being 14 by 5. As you just saw, I made this tiny house two floors because I wanted to have a lofted area on either side of the house. Then I went ahead and added some really large windows to the front and sides. I added two lofted areas, one side is going to be the bedroom and the other lofted area is just going to be for storage and then I knocked out one of the little wall pieces so I could have a space for the stairs. Now for the outdoor area, I thought it'd be fun to have a small greenhouse, so I just made a simple 4x4 square, I made the roof glass, and I added windows to each side of the building. I added some black barn lights above the front door, and then I decided to make another outdoor area across from the greenhouse, so I just added some cute red couches, a red table, and a grill. Then I went ahead and decorated the inside of the greenhouse, and that's pretty much it for the outside until later, which you'll see. Now for the inside of this tiny house, I went ahead and added some red stairs so that you can get up to the loft. And the first room that I wanted to work on was the bedroom. I didn't really have any red beds that looked that nice, so I just ended up using a white bed and I added a cute black and white plus sign blanket on top. On the left, I have my nightstand, and then on the right, I have this kind of open closet area. I added a black barn light to the center of my room and a cute little circle mirror on the wall and as you can see I did end up changing my wall accent color from red to black just because I like that better and then I just added some cute rugs. The other lofted area is just for storage so I kind of just put a few boxes up there. Next is the bathroom and I kept this pretty simple, I just have like a half wall of white tile. Then I just added some sinks, a toilet, a shower, some red carpets, and of course some red barn lights and mirrors. The next space I worked on was the kitchen and of course I had to have a red refrigerator so I added that. I added a bunch of red counters and the usual stuff like an oven, a dishwasher, and a sink. Then I just picked out some bar stools by the bar area, which I do end up changing really shortly after because I didn't like the way they looked. And then I just added a small white table with some red chairs under the stairs. I decided to keep the living room pretty simple by just adding a small red couch, a little white coffee table, and a red stand for the TV. Then right next to the couch, I have the desk area, so I just added a little red desk with a chair. And then I just added a computer and some clutter. I added a few more decorations to the inside of the house, and then on the outside, I added a pergola above the sitting area, and that's pretty much it. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the build was, and what your favorite outfit was. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'm gonna end this video with a tour of the house.